let us now move ahead to create a simple static web application and then dockerize it by simple static web application i refer to these two terms html files and a docker file so the project folder structure is like this we shall create a project folder named my first app and inside that we shall create a html folder inside this folder we will be having the index.html and days.html so basically in the index.html we will create a short link a small link and upon clicking that link we will be redirected to the page called days.html in which we will be able to see all the seven days now since we need a guidelines file which shows how to create the image for this particular application we shall obviously need the docker file so we shall first create the static web app and then define the guidelines in the docker file let us first create the project folder i want to store my project folder in documents and i'm creating a new folder and name this as my first app and inside this i want to create a new folder named html it stores the html files for our project now i will open my text editor i usually use sublime and i want to create a file named index.html in which i will create a link which redirects to days.html so first let us save this file inside that project folder and html folder inside that and name it as index dot html and save now i will write the html body something like href equal to quotations and inside this i want to write go to this page and i want to name the application like the title is this app i will save it using control and s and here the link is days.html so the meaning is i will be able to see the text like go to days page and this is a link this link like upon clicking this link we will be redirected to the days html file now since we are redirecting to days.html page from index.html page we need to create days.html page where we will be displaying all the days in that html file so first click on file and then new file and now save this using control s make sure that the current path is inside the html folder of the project my first app now name it as days.html and save it now we shall create the html structure similarly and the title shall be days app now i am going to use the code from the official bootstrap link so don't worry you will be getting all the code so copy this and paste it here inside body also we can use the cdns provided by bootstrap to make this app visually a bit more appealing so what do i mean by cdn cdn means content delivery network so if we want to use the bootstrap framework to make our apps more beautiful and responsive we need to install bootstrap in our app in our laptop but instead of 
going through the installation, we can also access those CSS and JavaScript files through a content delivery network, which is nothing but a link. So we shall include those links here. So I'm just copy pasting those links. So this one goes inside head. So here we are loading the CSS CDN and then we will be loading the JavaScript CDN. So if you observe, this is nothing but a link, right? So I'm going to save this using control and S. Now, let us see if all this is working. I will go to the project folder and click on index.html. I will just open it with my Chrome. And yeah, it shows go to base page. It is a link. And upon clicking this link, I'm able to see these five lines which we have written in this. So we just change these names to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now I will save this file using Control S and again go back to the web browser. Click on back button. And now when I click on go to days page now, I'm able to see the changes here. Notice one thing, the path of the file. It is showing the place where this particular file is coming from is C users, workday, documents, my first app, HTML and paste.html. So this particular app runs only on my machine. So in the next session, let us try to build a Docker image and make this app running in the Docker container.